What's up survivors and welcome to the Minecraft Cinema 4D rendering tutorial. So by now you should have watched all my tutorials leading up to this point which include the sky, the world importing, the custom fence textures, the trapdoor textures, the custom texture packs and all that jazz. So by now you should be uh, really considering rendering your scene because it should look pretty nice by now. So you want to come up here first and hit this little button up here with the um, movie clapper and the uh, gear. Hit that and it should bring up render settings. You want to change the width and the height to either 1280 by 720 or 1920 by 1080 yes. Then you want to change your frame rate to either 24, 25, 30, or 60. I would recommend 24 for an animation because it just saves you some time. You will change your frames from 0 to whatever you're, you're set to. Go over to save, hit these three buttons over here, Cho choose an area to save as. See I'm doing a single image so my format will be .png. If you're on a Mac, you will have a .mov or a .mp4 format, but we're on a Windows right now, so we'll have a .avi. Leave everything as default. Go down to anti-aliasing. If your computer isn't beefy, set that to none. If it is, leave it at geometry. If it's even better than my computer, and mine's pretty good, you can set it up to best. Turn on object glow if you have anything glowing, such as torches or the sun. Turn on lens effect if you have some form of lens flare. I do, I have the sun on. Turn on ambient occlusion and drag this all the way up or leave it as default or by up I mean over there so I'm not gonna do that go over to effect and hit if you if you're if you find that your scene is way too dark you can turn on global illumination I find that's perfectly fine you may want vector motion blur if you have any motion blur in your scene what I really don't like is depth of field because the cinema 4d alpha tag does not render depth of field properly so that's basically all you need to know once that's all done, you can hit quit. You can hit the button next to that, next to the render settings, which is the one in the middle right here. That will turn up the renderer. It should begin rendering. And there you go. Very simple tutorial on how to render. Uh, of course, if you're animating, it's going to take longer. If you um, have maybe a lot of reflections, lots of shadows, that's probably going to make the render time a lot longer. So it's just pretty much a waiting game and how powerful your computer is. Thanks for watching, I hope this helped you, and uh, make sure you stay tuned for my next tutorials on Minecraft Cinema 4D animations. See you later.